to get their grub on. You know that I am. This your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I'm doing a repeat of the hot chip challenge. And the reason being is, uh, you know, I got a lot of people calling and telling me, uh, you know, I was just touching the tip of the iceberg with the hottest chips, man. And, you know, uh, the reason why it wasn't as hot as I thought it was, because I didn't pick the right chips. So, uh, I got a few ideas from people and decided to go ahead and uh, find those and put them to the test, man. So, uh, part two, hot chip challenge, man. Here we go. So, first thing I got is the original Chester's hot fries, man. You know, flaming hot. Now, I know back in uh, like high school and stuff, this was like real, real popular about 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago. Uh, shoot, maybe 15 years ago. Like, hot fries was like, was the thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people had hot fries or whatever. And uh, to be honest with you, it was probably one of the, the hottest things popping at the time, you know what I'm saying? So, back then, though, taste buds a little different. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll see if they still a little hot right now or if I can tolerate, man. You know, I got to put them to the test. Next on the list. Now, this was new to me. Uh, the Funyuns. They flaming hot Funyuns. I don't even know what to expect from this one. Um, I heard I should try it out, so I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and try it and, you know, see if it's what it is, uh, but I really don't know what to expect from that one, so uh, just based on the, the presentation, um, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty hot, so we're going to check, though, we're putting them to the test as well, man. Next, we got another uh, another one over here. Now, this one I've seen, uh, I haven't seen a lot of people eating it, but I have seen it, you know, the Cheetos, flaming Hot. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're probably a little hot, but I'm not really intimidated by this bag, man. I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's not going to be as hot as they think it's going to be. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say off top that, you know, I think I can I can beat this challenge. You know what I'm saying? But I could be wrong, guys. You know, presentation ain't everything. So we're going to try them out, put them to the test. I went ahead and uh, decided to go ahead and get the Chester's Flaming Hot Popcorn. Now, uh, I know Chester's used to make the good hot fries back in the days. And then they came out with these hot fries that I showed you guys. But they also had the hot popcorn later on. Um, I wasn't really a big popcorn fan, so I didn't, I've didn't. i never got a chance to really try these. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to, you know, put these to the test because, uh, you know, I, I just don't know if I'll be able to tolerate it. Like I said, I'm not really a big popcorn fan, but we'll see. Uh, over here, you probably couldn't really see this one. So uh, these are called Takis. Um, I guess these are like the new thing right now uh, for the younger generation uh, of hot. So I want to see if um, if I'm able to tolerate it because, like I said, it's hot chili pepper. So, you know, that's a hot pepper. So I definitely want to try this and put it to the test just to see if I can hang if I ever had to. And last but not least, we have the Cheetos X Extra Flaming Hot. So I put this one last just in case. Um, see if I can tolerate it or not. All right, guys. So... Here we go. First one, like I said, we're gonna do the hot fries. Let's see. You know what? I mean, I can taste the hot, but I think because it's not enough of it, it's kind of it, it goes away really fast. So. It does leave a little hot taste in your mouth, but it's very faint, and I think it's just because it's, it's, it's not really a full a full chip to eat, so, you know, in a couple bites, it's gone already, so. It does pack a little bit of punch, but not much. Um, I feel like with these, you can eat a little bit and still be good. I think that's why it was so popular in school, because you can still eat it throughout the day and be fine, so. Um, scale of one to ten, I give it a three. All right, it ain't really do that much, so I give it a three. Next, we got the fun. Now, just to let y'all let y'all know, I ain't that brave that I come here empty-handed, so I had to bring my milk just in case. Right. So next, I want to go ahead and try the fun. Like I said, I've never had these, so I don't really know what to expect. The presentation definitely has me slightly nervous, but you know we'll see. Cause you know I'm about my gang. Okay. This 
This one is actually kind of hot. Definitely kind of hot. Um, good thing about it, you still really get the bunion taste. And then the hot just kind of covers it a little bit. So it is kind of hot. I would definitely say it's hotter than uh, hot fries. But it's still not something so hot that you can't tolerate it. Um, so it's still a good choice if it's something you want to eat on the go. Um, you just want something a little spicy to, to, to snack on. You can definitely snack on that. Um, so I, like I said, it's a little bit hotter than that one. But not so, so major um, to be considered flaming hot. So I give it a four. Alright, now this one says flaming Hot as well, so I'm guessing it might be a little similar to these, but we'll see. Oh, well this one actually looks hotter, so we'll check that out. Even because it ain't hot at all. Oh, that's cold. You still taste more of the Cheeto than you do anything else. So, I give it a one. Like I said, you got your, your three, your four, and now you one. Like this, almost like the ruffles to me. Like you can't really tell. You'll get a one. Now, to the popcorn. Like I said, I'm not a big popcorn fan, but I definitely want to try these out because I can't imagine what hot popcorn would be like, but it definitely does look unusual. You can see that? It's like red and white. Like I said, why well, I don't really eat popcorn like that. Uh, it's like too much air in popcorn. So it's almost like you're just eating, I don't know, like uh, a spicy powder or whatever. With, you can't really taste it like that. So, I don't know. I mean, I, it, it's okay, but it's kind of similar to this one. So I'm going to have to go ahead and... Uh, you know, give them a one as well. I guess that's the reason why I never really take popcorn anyway, especially the hot one. So, there you have it. The Takis. I heard a lot about these, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these. A little skeptical, but, you know, I gotta put them to the test, so. Here we go. kind of spicy. It does have more of the lime. You can see you got the lime on it, so you can taste the lime, um, which kind of offsets it, I guess makes it more easy to snack with. But to be so small, it does, you know, pack a, a, a quite a bit of a punch. So I definitely say, um, right now, I give the Takis about a six. They lead the pack right now, so to be so small, it carry a lot of punch, man. So you got the six right now, one, one, four, three. So it's up to you. you know, these are the ex extra flaming hot Cheetos. I'm just hoping it's hotter than these, you know. But we'll see. Based on the color, it definitely seems like it's hotter. Try it out. All right, so I guess when they say it's twice as hot, they just mean it's twice as hot as this one. So, I mean, there's a little extra kick to it than this one, but 
not even more than, than the than the Takis or the I don't know. I I'll say if it's it's twice as hot, so one plus one is two. There you go. So you get a two from me. So at the end of the day, even out of these, the Takis take over with the six. Like I said, I mean I'm pretty sure there's more um you know, hotter chips out there. So if you guys know of any, you have any more suggestions, definitely let me know. And I'll put them to the test, man, because that's what I do. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.